my god. Bro, I'm not ready for this. Yo, yo, the freaking chains on him is already. Okay, guys, here's what we do. Look, he's climbing out. Throw the grenade. So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here, and yes, your eyes do not deceive you, I am right now staring at the main menu of Resident Evil 4. Now I'm pretty sure I don't have to tell you guys that I'm a pretty big fan of the Resident Evil franchise, and Capcom has been doing wonders with all of these remakes. We played through Resident Evil 2 recently, and also Resident Evil 3, and at the end of that game, I had this itch that I just wanted to play Resident Evil 4 once again. Literally, in that last cutscene right there, all I could think was, I really want to play Resident Evil 4 again right now. This is a game that people should never miss. It's a game I think I own around about four copies of as well, and I'm not even kidding. To my delight and so many other fans of Resident Evil 4 as well, I think you guys know what's coming. There's been some pretty solid rumors of a Resident Evil 4 remake actually coming into fruition in two years' time. Knowing this game is getting a remaster, even though right now in its current state being 15 years old, it is still perfect. I can't wait! But today, honestly, guys, I wanted to just do a bit of a throwback episode. This is an older game. It is so old, it released on the PlayStation station too. Yeah, but I feel like some people may have missed this and with the remakes coming out It's clear that Capcom is trying to bring fresh eyes on their older games because each of those were their separate masterpieces This one included today guys. We're just gonna take it chill This is gonna be a one-off as far as I'm concerned I mean it will all depend on how many of you guys actually enjoy this episode. I'm gonna be watching that like button fairly close Okay, that's gonna be the indicator if this does become some kind of strange series out of the blue But for now, this is a one-off. I want to show you guys this game and my experience with it Resident Evil 4. I forgot all about that dude's voice in the intro. There is going to be so much that I'm hyped about, guys. All right, shut the freak up. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Resident Evil Soon 1. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. Always. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City. Mm -hmm. It hit the Are peaceful too? little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon the City. The end of RE3! With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business to create a umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, oh my gosh. and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. I might have tearing up, guys. I'm so excited. I don't even know why. Like, I just woke up today. I knew this had to happen. You know? Resident Evil 4. <sighs> Let's do this, man. I'm so excited. Even like Six just... <laughs> years have passed since that horrendous incident. So this is the first time we see Leon after the RE2 remake incident. Okay, guys, bear that in mind. This is Leon. In present day, I received special training concerned. via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Mm -hmm. Cornia, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. Bro, seatbelts, come on, guys. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. Dallas. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? Mm -hmm. All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you must trust him, just right? tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Ooh. Boy Scout Bro, look at his ears. Then again, <laughs> maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. Mm -hmm. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. Oh, yeah. These guys are those quirky ones, okay? They're giving us that transport in to some kind of city or some kind of small area. Not Definitely not a city, guys. I don't know why the freak I said that. These guys are driving us along to our mission area. Looks like we got to stop off somewhere. Why are we stopping off, though, huh? What's going on here, guys? It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. Mm-hmm. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. Mm-hmm. According to our intelligence, there's reliable nah, information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. But why, right? Who would have thought that my first job would have been the a rescue The steam mission? off of that. Jeez, dude. It's gotta be cold out here, right? Either that or your blood's like 90 degrees. Hold up. It's freezing. It's a lot of so fog picking up, right? 
Time to get back inside. Oh. Oh, we got prior eyes uh, watching must us. Be my imagination. Yeah, yeah, sure. Now get in the car, lock the doors, and start driving 60. Let's go. We got the lights on now, guys. This, though, was a complete different direction for the RE series. You know, we're used to, like, big breakouts, zombies littering these huge city environments, but this one, it takes us to Europe, pretty much. It takes us to a random location. We figure out the rest from here. Look at this place, though, man. This is no fancy mansion, right? What could be going down here? This game stands up great, dude. 15 years old. Ahead is the village. Uh, I'll go and have a look around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Yeah, I bet Don't you will. Don't want to get any parking tickets. <laughs> so here we go, guys. We're up and out. Jeez. The game begins. Who are these guys? Close the door and say that. Did you say something? Mistake. <laughs> oh, what the freak? Who's this? Hunnigan. Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Mm-hmm. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. What? So Come the on, subject's Leon, name's close, Ashley man. Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. Oh, yeah. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon mm -hmm. out. I should check out that file. I love how that sounds like quotations. This, though, guys, is the beginning of Resident Evil 4. We just turn up in this random, decrepit place. I mean, let's just take a look. We came across this bridge here. Looks like it's barely supporting itself. A couple of planks holding it up. Large drop with water flowing so rapidly, too. It was just such a shift for the RE franchise. And as I say, guys, I've played this game so many times, so there's a lot I remember. There is also, though, a lot that I don't remember. Let's get this died, though, man. Here we go. Excuse me, coming through. We just see this house in the middle of nowhere. All right, ominous music telling us something's not right. Look, my man's been seeing this whole thing unfold. Look at that. Do we have the option of just... We don't... I was wondering, like, I haven't even checked this before, but this place is blocked off with a truck, so we can't even get through. Let's check this out, man. This old truck's blocking the trail. Maybe it belongs to one of the villagers around here. And that's our encouragement to start checking the zone out a bit, right? Can you imagine, though... What Leon must be thinking, you know, the president's daughter out in the middle of nowhere, like, what the freak, she got like, ski jets? Then we're looking at houses that look like they're being held up by straw. Let's try and get a clue, though, as to what's going on here. Looks like this town's kind of quiet, right? Hello, sir? Coming in? <coughs> no! God, freak, please, Social no. distancing. I'm serious, let's go and check this out. Are you good, my man? We come in his home with a gun, you know? What's he gonna think? Uh, excuse me. Sir? It's better we drop the gun. Deaf or just arrogant right now? You got that, Leon. Oh, he turns the 270 degrees. I was around, wondering man. if he might recognize a girl in this photograph. Uh, Alright. Sorry to have bothered you. We probably want to back up right now. Uh, you're about to stoke the fuck. Get into action with the dodge. Freeze. Look, guys. We got a problem. Is it freeze? Straight away, we have a problem, man. All right, so, wait, how the freak do I shoot? Hold up. There we go. We shoot like that. <laughs> so, this is our first guy, man. We turn up in this village. This guy seemed conscious, and already we had to drop him, right? Look what else is going on. So much madness. That was the truck. And this dude swarming the place. My gosh, that sounds like it fell right down that canyon. Come on, Hannigan, tell us what's going on. Is everything okay? Nope. There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. Straight there up, dude. There's still others surrounding the area. Uh-huh. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take right. whatever measures necessary to save the subject. You know what Understood. that means, guys? We go out, gun swinging. Woo! Throw it screaming? Yes. My man had 10 handgun ammo on. Hold on. This situation we're in, though, guys. You see this? Like, hold up, turn the corner a second. No one coming through. We have people surrounding this building. What can we physically do other than take them out, you know? Look at this. You see my guy down there? They're all just waiting for us. Bro, I'm not leaving this house. Are they coming through? Hold up. It's like they don't want to come through, right? Uh, oh, hold up. Now I'm hearing them. Ready with the gun. Ready with the gun. You're going to kick down that door? Bro, I'll kick it first. It won't budge. They must be pressing against it from the other side. Dang, so they don't want me to leave this place. Hang on a second. Hold up. Check for supplies real quick. What about under here? The freak is this. Hang on. Check. Whoa, looks like they've killed a lot of people. Maggots infesting those skulls. 
Dang, I hope Ashley's okay. You know, that might be Ashley on the left right there. What about my guy laying down? He's not a zombie. Yeah, that's for sure. You see, that's the first thing Leon thinks about six years ago, thrown into this epidemic. So wait, do we got to dive bomb out? Is that the only way we do this? Break the window, break the window. Ooh, they heard that, dude. Hold up. Aim the gun, aim the gun. Mind Leon, steady the aim. Ooh, there's one shot. Bro, do I just jump and go all gun swinging? Do it, man. Look at this. Look, from a second story, he front flips out of this. Oh, boy. Whoa! He's running straight away. Okay, run past him, run past him, run past him. We're going to spin around in the set, guys. Let's do it now. See, how many is that? We've got three in front of us, man. Headshots do best with that, okay? That's the way we want to do this. Stop missing your shots, Leon. But who are these guys, man? Look at them running at me with weapons. They see I got a gun. They don't care. I shoot them. They drop down. Oof. Dang, look at this, dude. The moment we turned up, they cut the bridge. Everything's gone to crap. Oh, yeah. We ain't getting out, dude. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Already happened, man. Look at this crap, dude. This sucks. So here we are, trapped in this random town with no way seemingly out. Uh, hold up. They're taking... They got money on them right now? Our only method, though, is to keep moving through, guys. Let's see what we can do here. We've got a type prior right there. Hold up. Take the money. Now, these boxes, guys, they are key, okay? Got that green herb. Yes. So even though these things are, like, in Raccoon City, you can also find the green herbs way out here. Take this one Look at this, man. Storing their money away. We got 1,000 of that. Now, why do we need money? I wonder what could be the reason for that. Save our game, though. We get that sweet save. Bro, I must have played that game a long time. <laughs> Hold up a second. I'll save right here. I'll keep the OG one. If you actually go back on my channel, guys, there is a playthrough where I did start Resident Evil 4, interestingly enough. Now, I remember the issue was back then, my computer would overheat playing this game, and it would, like, blue screen and restart, so I had to call it off. Man, how the times have changed. Now, uh, let me show you guys something kind of interesting. You see these crows just kind of chilling? Now, you see the one on the post? Now, crows are known for stealing some gold, okay? They're like shiny things. Now, hold up. If we take this guy out and he drops down, what might that be? See, this guy's living up to his name. He's got some of that gold. He's got 200. Now, my man here, where the frick did he get a hand grenade from? There's a popper right there, man. Oh, no, we're going to help you out, bud. Ouch. Yikes. And I sure hope you can move. Stay safe, bud. See, so he shakes it off. Be free, bud. Be free. That leaping for freedom. Check these signposts out, man. That crap means nothing to me. It's a language that, unfortunately, I don't know. Now, hold up a second. They got, like, TNT set up here as well. They got multiple TNT, like... What are they protecting, you know? Let me just see. Bear trap right there. Whoa! That should have made me jump right there. Get nice and close. Hold up. You got that farmer's hat on? Let's get that thing off your head. You can also run up guys and kick them if you do it like that. It's a really satisfying thing. Just like the old games, save your ammo, man. Use that knife when you get the chance. Take them out and keep moving forward. Ah, oh, this game. This game is so good to be playing, man. Can I see inside here? I've got a feeling. Okay, there's two behind me. I thought there might be one hiding in there. Guys, are you coming? Or like... Bro, all right, I'll take three shots then. Whoa, you came up quick. You see, look, he's dodging that. Bro, you're gonna get a kick in the butt. Sit the freak down, man. All right, he died straight up. My foot was enough to take him out. Now, is there someone in here? They're filling the would be. Now, we gotta... Clear those guys out. The heck might they be saying, huh? I'm kind of curious. Can you guys translate that? I'm sure some of you guys do speak that language. I'm 99% sure it's Spanish. Bro. Don't think I don't see you in there. Hold up. Line this up with this dude's head and pop it right there. Oh, dang. He coming with a slash. Hold up. But we keep crawling through and instantly, like, for a small little town, what the freak is this? It's got some kind of symbol on it and all that. You know, we may as well just go on through. What have we got to lose, right? We've got to find out where this girl is. We've got Hunnigan coming in again, I think. Yeah, let's go. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Yeah, we could, like, Sorry 12 to hear people, that. Dude. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. What? Break the fourth wall, why don't you, man? Yeah, they also send you the playing manual after you have to kill like 10 zombies. So by this point, you've basically learned what you gotta do anyway. Take a peek. What's going on here, man? What are they doing, right? Yo, you see that? They ain't doing come by out by the fire. Anyone for some like pork today? Oh my gosh, that did not last long. We got chickens. I mean, are the chickens infected? Please don't tell me they are. For guys though, that seem to be, you know, Infected and all that they're living a fairly normal farming life, right? I'm doing anything else too much out of the ordinary So yeah. do we greet them or do we go in guns blazing, right? How about we go around this side here a second? Let's take a peek what we got going here. Just more people working. Look at that guys. Hey, excuse me guys uh, What's with the guy cooking on the fire, right? <laughs> Head exploding right now, but I'm taking these guys out. Ooh, making these shots count, dude. Oh Here we go. 
This is the first onslaught, guys. This is where the kind of little... There's people behind me. Gotta move. Ooh, you can hit them all. But I'm gonna run past them. Hold up. Jump over here. Jump, jump, jump. Get inside here, man. Get inside. Here we go. One build SEO. Close the door, man. I am for the trust. the freak he said. That ain't good. Gotta figure this out, man. Look. Oh, I forgot about Jeez. this dude. Ooh. Lock the door, man. Lock the door. Now, these guys give me so much anxiety, guys. Already? Oh, my gosh. Every avenue. What do we do, you know? What the freak do we do? Now, we saw the guys getting up. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. You get the freak away. Go away. Now, we gotta get the shotgun, man, and give me that. Woo! A good time to find such a weapon, bro. There are so many people. I'm actually freaking out a little bit. Hold up. Oh my god. Bro, I'm not ready for this. Yo, yo, the freaking chainsaw dude is already! Hold up, guys. No way. No way, no. No way! Oh my god, bro. Woo! He's spinning the blades on that thing, you hear that? Oh, oh my god. Hold up, take some ammo. Now, I gotta figure this situation out. Hold up, guys. Give me a sec. Um freak do I do? Hang on, it sounds really nice right now, guys. Now, I'm not gonna corner myself. Chainsaw guys, coming up. Okay, we gotta throw the hand grenade. Throw, throw, throw. Like that. Good, good, good. Perfect. Ooh. Okay, that did some damage. Gotta swap out to the shotgun. Let's make these shots count, alright? Gotta take him down. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ooh. Folks in the fire, it's not enough, dude. Okay, there's so many behind me. Keep running, keep running. Ooh. More handgun ammo. Yes, thank you very much. Now, can we use these to climb? I don't remember. I can't. Yes, there's ammo above here, too. Okay, so now that we're up, give me that on the desk. Thank you very much. Bro, they're probably coming up, right? Knocking down. Get the freak off me, dude. You see I'm throwing, like, hatchets and all kinds, too? We get out here. Let's go. Now, how do I want to deal with this, bro? Look how many... There's so many. Hold up. No. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Do not let them set that ladder back up. That will be our downfall. All right, hold up a second. Get the freak down! <laughs> I gotta make sure they don't get the ladder back up, dude. Well, they're going, they're going, they're going. No, you don't. Shoot them down, shoot them down. Ooh, there's people behind me too, I think. Oh, so much chaos. Knock this one down ahead of time. Reload, reload. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, they might be coming up soon, dude. Knock it down, knock it down. No! Oh, I jumped down. I was meant to knock it down. Stop them throwing that. Shoot this guy down too. I don't hear the chainsaw. He's gonna be somewhere. Dang, you're still throwing those? Hold up a second. Guys, sit down. Take that turn of sleep. Here we go, here we go. It's right here, guys. Shoot again. It's staggering him, it's staggering him. Hold up, one more shot. Ooh, that blasted him back. I don't know if it's enough, though, guys. My chainsaw guy is still not down. Hold up. Take these guys down. Ooh. Pop him, pop him. Keep shooting him. Keep him in a line here. Oh, boy. Okay, we run one more time round. Oh, my God. They're trying to cut me up, too. Ignore him, ignore him. Whoa! You see a dodger into my line of pass? They are running so close, man. I get no time. Hold up. Now, my plan is like this, guys. I'm going to run upstairs, get the grenade real quick. Let me see. I think I saw a grenade in here. Not gonna hit Stick it in there. They might be real close to- Oh my gosh! Alright guys, here's what we do. Look, he's climbing out. Throw the grenade. Is he- Yes! Yo, we took him down. Hang on, what's he packing? 10k loot! Yes! Knock this down. Now, I'm gonna jump down and run one more time round. Uh, hold up. La campana. I just jumped down and next to them. Oh. Look, they drop everything, guys, for this. What is going on, right? What is this? Who are these people? Lord Sadler. Sadler? Leon runs out. He's ready to go, man. Look at this. You'd be so clueless, right? What's going on? You guys wanted to kill me like five Where's seconds ago. Where's everyone going? Bingo? It's just everything's gone, like... What the freak, dude? And that right there... Is the introduction... To Resident Evil 4, guys. What an introduction. Amazing. Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Mm-hmm. Something's happened to the people here. Yeah, he Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower, and follow the trail near it. Got it. Tower? Okay. Interesting. Look at this, guys. This was flooded with people not long ago. Now we're just the quietest place out here. Now, one of the things I remember about this was the fact that you can explore any area. This one most specifically stuck out because we climbed about 30 foot up. Look at this, guys. We are very high up. We've got some shotgun ammo up here. Leon's limping. How does he choose to get down from here, though, guys? 
Uh, he's fine. He just gets on with it. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? Many small insects are feasting on the leftovers. Uh, I sure hope those leftovers aren't people either. Can we examine this? We can. What in God's name? If only he'd come with me. Yeah. They wanted to just look after the carriage, they said. It's way too late for them, Leon. It's a shame. It is a shame, you know. They were introduced for just such a short while. It's all done. Now, I'm going to take my time, guys, looting around here as much as I can because there's a lot of things you should take. You see, we got a red up just stacked right there. You need all of this stuff for what we're about to get into, man. That introductory phase really is just the tip of the iceberg. Things get crazy. Hold on, what's that glimmering thing up there? Let's take a shot at that if we can get it. Can't take a shot, but we can easily just make our way around to the side here. Let's check out what this thing is. What is it? A spinal. Whoa, hold up. What's this in here? Now, I've never done this before. Can we shoot this? We can. We shoot the lock off. What is this? We're going to like a bedroom. Seriously, there is so much that I missed with this game. So we find shotgun ammo in here if we were to do that. Along with some money on the bed. All right. Okay, let's uh, leave this place. So there's an arrow pointing us over to this door here. Hold up. There's some paper in here. We've also got some more handgun ammo. Let's take a read of this. What might this be? Alert order. They got pictures of us too, so recently there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I do sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert, Chief Batoris Mendes. Okay, so we can see they know about us. They clearly don't want us getting in. Well, for now, we may as well just continue on, right, guys? There's nothing more we can do here. Let's leave the main part of the village with soon. Instantly, look at this. We're just in another area. There's more people working. There's chickens. Looks like people are still living that normal life. Now, we just take a left here, however. We do have that save point, so I'm gonna save real quick. And you know what? I'm actually gonna leave this here for now. Uh, this is just one of those one-off things where I wanted to play a little bit of this game today, just kind of remind myself what it's all about. After Resident Evil 2 and 3 have come out, the remakes, and then, coincidentally, learning about the Resident Evil 4 remake soon after, it, it kind of makes sense why they would want to do this. Hold up, hold up. You hear that music coming in? This game had one of the most superb soundtracks. Again, if you guys have played this, you'll know what I'm talking about, but the music in this game and the ambience is just so good. But yeah, guys, let me know if you want to see another episode or not, man. I can happily do that. I mean, it's kind of clear that I'm obviously going to replay this anyway when the remake comes out, so we won't be waiting too much longer, even if so. Other than that, though, guys, this is what we're going to leave this episode here, and I really hope you did enjoy this blast from the past and just me checking out Resident Evil 4 again. If you did, why not drop me that like rate? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.